for this one, I want to do uh, just talk about something that's not Call of Duty. See how that goes. So I'm going to tell a story. So this one time I took this girl on a bowling date. I think one of the, I think the bowling date is part of the holy trinity of dates. You know, you got the movies, mini golf, and bowling. Those are like the big three. You might as well hit those three first too. Uh, you know, that way you know if you're gonna have a good relationship or not. You know, I don't think ice skating tells you nothing. You, you go on a picnic date, you won't have anything to talk about unless you already did the bowling date and the mini golf date, you know what I mean? You gotta have the story of the time you crushed her in bowling. Which is another point, uh, you have to win the bowling date. You win the game, you win the date. But it's very important to win the date, otherwise she wears the pants in the relationship. It's not gonna look good for you. And you might think, oh, you know, if I choke and lose this game, we can play again next week and I'll beat her. No, 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 see. You take her on two bowling dates two weeks in a row, dude, now you're a bowling guy. You don't want to be a bowling guy. She'll be like, you, this guy, this guy likes bowling way too much. Twice in two weeks, that's nuts. You go once every fucking two years, dude. And you can't, like, wait a couple months to redo the bowling date, you know. Practice up. Because by the time... You know, you know. After all that, it's still one to one. You know, now you're even. That's you're not even much better. You, you gotta win the first bowling date. Uh, don't even go. Otherwise, practice bowling before dating. Pro tips. So, so I go to pick her up to go bowling. And so I'm, I'm the kind of guy who just wears shorts and a t-shirt all the time, even in the winter. I wear a graphic t-shirt and shorts. And uh, that's how I am. And she knew that. Already, she like knew I wasn't the kind of person to dress up because uh, we knew each other before we went bowling. Uh, but so I, you know, I dressed up because it was a date, so I put on a shirt with buttons on it, dude. Buttons. And, and so when I picked her up, she just immediately starts laughing at me. So I guess, you know, that's, that's a great start. I'm, I'm so ugly, it's, it's laughable. Right off, right off the bat. Great. You know, we're in there. Uh, you know, shake that off. I, I can't lose focus. Got to win the bowling date. We get to the bowling alley. We show up. <clears throat> we go to the bowling alley that says bowling in big letters on the front. We go in. There's tons of pins, bowling balls, etc. We go up to the bowling alley counter. And the lady goes, how can I help you? I was like... <laughs> I was like, I'll have some bowling, please. Like, what? Like, nah, I just came for the cheap pizza, dude. It, well, actually, it's overpriced pizza, but it's sucky pizza. I came for the shit pizza. That's what I came for. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I don't know if she forgot what she was doing. Then, so, the bowling alley's got 32 lanes. Right? And there's people on lane 30 and people on lane 32 and no nobody else in the whole place. She puts us on lane 31 right between them. <laughs> we get to the lane. And to our left on lane 30 is the fucking bowling pros, dude. This guy this guy got the wrist guard on and everything, man. The the wrist brace, you know? They're out there using the using the finger cooler thing. You know, on the ball return, after the ball goes on its little journey, it rests in that little thing. And it's got a little vent on it. And that's the coolest sweat off your hands if you're fucking nasty at bowling, dude. That That's for pros only. You're not, you're not even allowed to put your fingers there. You might get hurt. Yeah, and they, they knew the computer and shit. Because, you know, those fucking bowling computers are from, like, the 1800s. So that bowling wizard over there had to help us get started. And you know what else is from the 1800s? Those stupid videos they play on the bowling TVs? They, they gotta update those, dude. When you get a strike or a spare or, like, you, you leave a split up there or something, they play a stupid cartoon. It's so... It, they gotta update those, dude. It's 2018. We're not cavemen out here. And on the other TVs, they had Pitbull playing the whole time. That's it. We were there. We played, like, two games. It was just Pitbull. 
That's it. No other music. Just weird pit bull music videos. You know, I, I, I like to think, you know, I try and act like a gentleman on a date. And I got pit bull dancing around these fat Latina chicks with the... I don't know, dude. <laughs> that, that sounded kind of racist. I, I kind of regret saying that. But, you know. You know what Pitbull's doing. <laughs> um, and so the on lane 32 next to us, there's two dorks. Uh, I guess it's rude of me to call them dorks, but they were dorks. You, you know, they had nothing better to do on a Friday besides hang out and go bowling. And, uh, well, the, the reason I'm calling them dorks is because I'm mad at them. See, what happened was I go up for my first throw, dude. Start the day, got to win this bowling date. And, uh, I throw a mean gutter ball. Like, didn't even make it six feet down the fucking lane, dude. Just right in the trash, right away. And the kid, the kid in lane 32 starts laughing at me. Just laughing at my face, dude. Like, a, a, we're human to human. Doesn't even know who I am. Just laughed right in my face, dude. That was the second time today somebody laughed in my face. Well, not, not today, but that day. I was really putting myself in the shoes of that story there. Jesus. <laughs> Of course I won the bowling date. Uh, yeah, I guess it wasn't much of a story. I just, you know, I thought it was funny that that idiot laughed at me and that I really think uh, anytime you take a chick on a date, your first three dates should be movie, mini golf, bowling. In any order, and you have to win bowling. You know, stay stay tuned for tips on the other two. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, that's that's it.